Hello again. In this video, I wanted to talk about the forearm inward strike block. Now, this is a block, that they'll refer to it, if you go by the book, they will call it a middle front block with the right forearm. We call it forearm inward block or forearm inward strike block because it is both a strike and a block. This is the technique, and again, I want to make this as big as I can so you can see it on the screen, but this is the one where you start with your arm behind your head and then you swing it down and across in front of you. But if you look at how they perform this block, they always stop the block too short. So you look at where his arm is, it's almost vertical, it's like this. They don't turn it over the proper way and bring it all the way across in front of their body like they should be doing. So if you do this and you look at the application that they show, again, this is their book. It's not my book. It's their book. The application here, you can see that he's blocking with his right arm and you can see that this guy's kicking with his right leg. Now from a picture, I can't tell if that's a side kick or a roundhouse kick that he's doing there. But either way, whether it's a roundhouse or a side kick, you're not going to stop a roundhouse with this block anyway. But if it's even if it's a side kick, it gets right through that block. Any straight punch or straight attack like a side kick is getting through that block because he's not taking it far enough across the body. So if you look at this, I don't understand why the ITF can't get this block right in 75 plus years of Taekwondo with the ITF existing and with this block, I don't understand why in the books they can't ever get it right. It, it just blows my mind. It doesn't make sense to me but they can't get this block right. So there has never been a Taekwondo student who has ever successfully blocked any straight line attack using this block, the way it's described here in the book. Nobody has ever blocked anything with that technique in 70 plus years. So I don't understand why they have that. It's a very rare block in the patterns. It doesn't show up very often, but when they do it, they're not doing it correctly. And so, finally, because one of the things that irks me is people will see my YouTube channel and they'll see that I have very few subscribers and very low view counts on my videos. And they'll say, well, this guy must be wrong because he's, you know, nobody knows who this guy is. And yet, all these popular YouTubers with millions of subscribers and millions of views, they're all doing the block this way where it doesn't work. And then there's one person out there that's telling them the correct way to do this block. That's me. And if you don't believe me, I always say, try it, do it in the club and practice. If you don't think what I'm telling you is true, practice. This doesn't work. Try it out in the club and you'll have that light bulb moment going off in your head where, bing, you know, what this guy's saying is true. You know, I've never heard of this guy before. Never seen this guy's YouTube channel before. He doesn't have very many views or subscribers, but you know what? He's right. In a sea of wrong, in a whole sea of McDojo level crap that is out there on the internet, this guy's right. What he's saying is correct. That block is wrong. So here, finally, I have a publication, a book that I purchased a long time ago on Taekwondo that shows this block. And if you go to page 30 of this book, this is from Grandmaster Park, and it's a book from the 1980s, probably one of the most popular Taekwondo books uh, that have ever been published, I would think. 
if you want to see the cover of it, this is what it looks like. So this is actually a World Taekwondo Federation book endorsed by the World Taekwondo Federation. Okay. And there you can see Grandmaster Park, Park, John Gerard. Those are the authors of the book. Okay. What I want you to see is this. Now, he's performing the forearm inward strike block. They call it an inner arm block. Here's step one, step two, step three. So starting with the arm up behind you, swinging it down and across in front, exactly the way that I teach it in my lessons, and stopping it so that your fist is in front of your opposite shoulder. And there it is right there, the finishing position of this block. Take a look at that, notice the V shape. And of course you can perform the block high so that you're protecting more head level or you can also drop it down a little bit and protect more mid level. He's doing the block a little higher than what we do, but that is perfectly valid right there. But you can see right there, swing it forward to the inside until the forearm crosses before your face to stop in line with the opposite shoulder. Right? And the blocking surface is the outer forearm bone. This is a defense against direct, they say oncoming, incoming attacks to the head and upper body. This is the correct way to do forearm inward strike block or forearm inward block. And here's a publication now that proves it because a lot of people, when I put out a video, people think that I'm wrong and I get dislikes on my video because people don't believe me. But when I show them something like this, now all of a sudden you can't dispute it anymore. It's it's no longer it's no longer just me saying it now. Now it's somebody highly respected saying it. And that's all the difference in the world. So like I said, if you want to continue doing a broken technique like this, by all means. I mean, I, I've been doing this long enough now to realize that you can't change people. You can't teach people that don't want to be taught. If people are just going to go by one book here and what one particular group is saying, they will never change. And it's sad because they'll have a defective technique. And if they ever go to use that in a real situation, they're going to get hurt badly because they have broken technique, but you can't, you can't fix people if they're not willing to change, if they're not willing to be coached. A lot of people just aren't coachable. So you can do the technique like that, the way it was what I showed before and never block anything with it. Or you can do the technique like this the proper way and it'll potentially save your life someday. So the choice is yours, but, that is the proper way to do a forearm inward strike block. And like I said, nobody in the ITF, for whatever reason, gets this block right. Nobody in the ITF has ever done this block correctly that I'm aware of, other than Chung O's school, the way we were taught. So there it is. But that's the proper way of doing forearm inward strike block. Stop doing it the other way and start doing it like this. So till next time, thanks for watching.